Lions. Miguel comes deep and Marissa Callahan does very well to squeeze it through the furnace. Overlap from McGuinness, got her head up. It's just Simone Miguel in the middle. Lovely play and a brilliant ball towards the back post. It was called well arriving and again the trouble being caused by Kirsty McGuinness. Such an educated left foot. Scored a few huge goals in the latter stages of qualification, but just causing issues early on. And there's the goal. The director missed it, but it doesn't look like Rachel Furness did. What a start for Northern Ireland. The goal scoring hero pops up again. We don't know how it ended up in the back of the net, but those girls don't care, and neither will he. This is the start that we needed, Thomas. Here is the goal kick. Ukraine trying to play out from the back. Here comes a pressure. Oh, it's gifted to Furnace. Gift wrap for the Liverpool player. And didn't she take full advantage? Should be dealt with uh, by McKenna. Wasn't the most conventional way to get it to here, but just about managed to. Lifted it again. Chance of an equaliser, and there it is. It's a Panchenko, the top scorer, who brings the sides level midway through this first half. A 39th international goal for her, ghosted in between the two defenders. It's the first real goal scoring opportunity the home side have had. The one player you didn't want to give that a chance to. A little bit telegraphed, and Holloway emerges with it. Furnace was trying to block that uh, that clearance, and may well have hurt herself in the process. It was Crevettes who was trying to win the throw in, and straight away Furnace was on the ground. Oh, that's a, be a painful one on the ankle of Rachel Furnace. I think Rachel Furnace is. Before you can see well, you can see the emotion on her face, just how much it means to her. Opened the scoring early on. It's been a fantastic international career to get to this point. Her 77th cap today. And undoubtedly, the highlight of those 77 games was this one. So on comes Chloe McCarron, and it'll very much be a case of trying to nurse Rachel Furness and somehow try and get her back for Tuesday night. Miguel, can she get the right side? Yes, she can! Can she score? Yes, she can! She's gone close on a couple of occasions, but this time, Simone Miguel must to the light of her teammates and manager. Finds in it. The Everton striker scores her 16th international goal, and look at what it means. Time after time, she's made that type of run through the middle. Beat the defender to it, and fired past Sanina. Decent turn, decent effort on goal, and it almost squeezed in. I think Burton's got a touch to it. It was Kimichu fired it towards the far post. I'm not sure if it was intended to be a cross. It was lovely turn initially, fashioned the opportunity herself, and well, Burns found herself almost in no man's land because there was a runner in behind, but that's a vital interception. Rafferty and McGill combined to get it away, but it's a landmark night for Northern Ireland. Look at what it means. Hugs all round. Simone McGill and her teammates have created history. The underdogs in the first leg of this two-legged encounter have given themselves the advantage to come to Belfast. A massive night lies in store at CV on Tuesday. It will be live on BBC television. Northern Ireland with the advantage.